guys, it's Angela from Panda Kisses, and today we are going to be making this Buzz Lightyear inspired zipper bag. And I'm making the 5x5 five five size, so I'm in my 5x7 hoop. I have a piece of tearaway, just one piece of tearaway on my hoop, all ready to go. And I'm going to start. Our first step is always to do those placement lines. That's going to show us what size fabric to do as well as where to place the zipper. So let's get started. I'll go ahead and stitch that and I'll come back and show you what it looks okay, like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. There is your placement stitches. Now it's time to place our zipper and we place it between these two lines right here. You can line up the zipper teeth to this middle line and that will make your placement perfect. So you can choose, you can either have your zipper open from this direction or you can place it this way if you want it to open from the other direction. I usually place my zippers this way. So I'm going to go ahead and get it set between these two lines. And then you can either take tape and tape right here and right here. Or you can just hold it. The next step is going to go ahead and do a line right here tacking the bottom of the zipper down. And then it's going to jump over your zipper teeth and it's going to place a line up here tacking the top down so it's tacked down to your stabilizer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that next step and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. Here's the... Um, placement stitching. Here's the zipper. It's tacked down. You can see that it uh, tacked it down on the top and the bottom. Okay, so now we are going to be measuring our fabric and depending on what you're doing, um, it will make a difference on how you measure your fabric. If you are using vinyl, then you just need to measure from your zipper line down as one piece, from your zipper line up as one piece, and then the full from the top to the bottom side to side is one piece. If you're not lining it, that's all you need. Three pieces of vinyl and you're all done. Um, it makes a difference if you're doing fabric. It's measured differently. I'm going to kind of walk through what I'm doing on this bag and I kind of give you an idea. Something I do as a tip, when I measure a bag, I do it one time and I keep a sticky note or you can get um, a notebook and write it down. So I measure like one time. This is a five by five bag. You can see that I wrote five by five up there. And then I keep it, and if I ever make another one, I already measured it, so I don't have to go through the measuring process again. I can just cut. But um, my notes, what it says is you have the um, front bottom. So I measure from the zipper all the way to the bottom. And right here, it's right about four. I actually write mine with a four with an arrow and it just says to do a little bit more just so I don't run out of space and you could make four fit here but I if you watch my videos I'm I do a little more fabric just because I don't want to mess up I don't want to be so close that it, the the stitches don't catch and then I have to start over that would be a bigger waste than the little bit of fabric I do by doing extra okay so then I measure the top from the zipper to there and you can see it's right about one so I put FT which means front top one <clears throat> and then I measure the whole thing and it's right at five so I put whole front WF five so this is my vinyl if you were doing fabric that measurement would be different because you have to double and you have to put stuff in it but for me I'm just doing vinyl so on the inside I'm actually doing a liner so when I do my liner I do it a couple I'm gonna show you both ways I actually measure the whole thing and fold mine over. I do a true double. So if you see this liner right here, I put liner front bottom. I put eight and remember it's four up here. I double it and fold it over so I can get a clean edge because this is woven fabric and it frays. So you need a clean edge to be next to your zipper. So I have, this is measured at eight and then I fold it over and iron it so it can fit right here right along the zipper. This is how I do it. The other thing you can do, I showed you, I, I'm going to show you the other way. On the top piece right here, this is the um, liner front top. It was one. I put two. I measured two. You don't have to do this much. You could do the one with just a little bit extra and then you can fold it over just a little bit to get, instead of a true fold over to get a clean edge and then go like this. You waste less fabric that way, so you're more than welcome to do it that way as well. I always just do a true double just because it's easier for me. It gives it a little more stability. It's just, 
It's just the way I do it, but I wanted to show you that you could do it both ways. This is just using a little bit less so you can get a clean edge, but you still need that clean edge. So these are our two liners right there. Now your last liner piece goes all the way across. It's not going to be up against either one of your zippers and it's going to be folded into the bag so you don't need a clean edge on this zipper on this last piece. So this is just a true piece just no folded over just a full piece and that right there you can see I just did five and I did it a little extra I put the arrow I do a little extra because you're gonna flip your bag and so I need a little extra fabric down here to be able to glue the hole later because you're gonna fold in the fabric and glue it so don't just do like right up to the edge because it's gonna be a hard time closing the hole later but that's how I do it so I have my three pieces of liner right here and I already measured my three pieces of vinyl and um, you can see that I got I'm going to use this one this one and then I have the backs going to be this green so I have clean edges on all of the vinyl vinyl doesn't fray so you just need the true measurement on that so that's how I do all my fabric and this is how I write it so next time I know um, the other thing, if you do a bag like all the time and you don't want to actually measure at all, this is another template way I wanted to show you. This is actually a template for a 5x7 bag, which I make all the time, and this is made out of fabric. You can see that everything is doubled and where to fold and which way to place the fabric. So I just actually take this piece of, like, it's just card, like harder thicker cardstock and I just place this on my fabric and I cut with my scissors around it and it's really fast. I make these ones all the time out of fabric so I made them these this kind of template so I didn't even have to use a ruler or anything when I cut it. So I use that. The, the way to cut them, there's a couple ways to cut them. People do different things. I use this for my vinyl because it gets a clean edge and then I have a clean edge on my roll for next time. I buy my vinyl in rolls. So I use this. A lot of people ask me why don't I just use this with a cutting board and a ruler. And you can do it. This is just a cutter. This is more for sewing and I actually do sew so I have all of this stuff. But my mat, because I sew, it's really, really large and it's kind of a pain to take out. I don't have like a permanent setup for that. I have to like move it and put it on my table. And so I don't do this, but you could easily do this method as well for cutting it, cut straight lines, or you could just do a scissors. You're not gonna get a really straight edge on this though, so I don't suggest doing scissors. Um, I do it for my fabric because then I fold it over and get my straight edge, but for vinyl, I wouldn't cut with the scissors. Um, but that's the stuff you can use for cutting. Now I'm gonna go back over to the machine and I'm going to show you how to put this bag together but I just wanted to show you how to measure and some tips on how to keep your measurements so the next bag you make you don't have to do it all over again okay meet you at the machine okay guys here we are we're back at the machine and we're gonna go ahead and do this front bottom piece first I went ahead and measured my vinyl like I showed you now I'm gonna place this right next to my zipper now the only thing you have to watch you do not have to place it let me pull this out a little bit you do not have to place it exactly next to your zipper you can show more of your zipper color if you want I place it next to my zipper because I don't want to mess it up you could place it all the way to where your stitch line is it's gonna stitch exactly over the stitch line again right here so you could put it you know more like right here versus all the way up and then I'll show your zipper color a little bit more but make sure you're over this stitch line right here because that's where it's going to go. Same for the top, that stitch line. You're going to want to be above the stitch line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place my fabric and I'm going to stitch step three. Okay, there it is. You can see the outline of it. Now we're going to go ahead and do the tack, tack down of the fabric for the top portion. And I'm using purple, this pretty purple up there. Now if you don't want to see, you won't see the white thread here around the bag because um, it flips over and you don't really see that part very much because it's folded into the bag. But you will see this top tack down line that's right next to the zipper. You see how I have white right here? If you don't wanna see a white line on this purple or whatever color you're using, then go ahead and switch your thread to a different color. Like right now I could switch it to purple because you will see this tack down line right here. I don't care that I'm gonna see that 
white so I'm gonna leave mine white and it's in but I just wanted to mention that you will see this top line at the finish of the bag so I'm gonna go ahead and run step four it's gonna tack down that top and I'll come back and show you okay there's the tack down of the top you can go ahead and see that it's white if you didn't want to see that then yes you should use the color of your fabric um, I went ahead and changed my thread. We're going to go ahead and start doing details on the front of this bag. So the first detail is that little badge thing, um, and that's blue. So I went ahead and changed to this blue color. It's going to go ahead and do the placement stitch so we know how big of a piece of fabric to put there. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. I'll come back and okay. show you. There's your placement stitch right there. Now you're going to go ahead and take a piece of fabric that covers that. Um, it's blue. And so I'm going to use this blue. I'm going to use felt just so it's a different texture. I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch step six, which is going to tack down this fabric to that, to this vinyl right here. And I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like right there. It went ahead and tacked that fabric down. Now this is called an applique. Anytime you put fabric over fabric, you're appliqueing. So I'm going to go ahead and take my applique scissors. They're just rounded scissors. All the links for vinyl, zippers, everything is at the end of the video on YouTube. If you say if there's a see more, if you click on that, I have all the links there. There's so many links there. Check them out if you are looking for any suggestions on what I'm using. But I'm going to go ahead and cut these. These scissors are great for appliquing because it cuts right next to the stitch line without cutting the stitches. And it gets really close. You're going to want to get really close because the next step is going to do satin stitches over here. You want to make sure that you do not see this fabric on the other side of the stat satin stitches right here. Otherwise your project won't look very good. So I just pull the fabric up and I just cut right next to it. So let me get all this fabric out of the way. You just want to get as close as you can without cutting the actual stitches. So I'm get some more of this fuzzy felt out of the way. This is just felt. Okay, so that's what's going to look like. Now I'm going to bring you back to the machine and we'll do the next step. Okay, I'm back at my machine. The next step is right here. It's going to do that satin stitch right above this blue right here. So I'm going to actually cut this excess off because it's just in the way. So I'm just going to take a scissors and cut here. I'm leaving the zipper, but then I'm going to cut this fabric too just to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to stitch the next step and I'll come back and show you. Okay, there it is. You can see the satin stitches and you can see what I was saying. It would look really bad if you could see the fabric on the other side of this, which you can't. I cut close enough that you don't see it. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next detail, which is going to be these lines at the bottom right here of the suit. We're going to make those purple. So I switched to purple. The first step is going to go ahead and show you the placement stitch. I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay guys, this is what the placement stitches look like. Now I'm gonna use the purple vinyl down here so I just make sure I have a big enough piece that covers that placement stitch. I actually, once the machine stitches this and it tries to move over, I stop my machine and then put the other one here because my foot usually hits it. Um, you can like put both down. They run together, but you can put both down and tape it so it doesn't do that, but I just stop and then place this at the second part but okay so it's gonna go ahead and tack this fabric down and then I'll come back and show you okay guys this is what it looks like right here now we're gonna go ahead this is appliqueing again we're gonna take the appliqueing scissors again and we're gonna cut around here now I'm only gonna cut the places where the satin stitches are gonna go so up this way down and then straight down I'm gonna leave the fabric down here next to where the bag edges are so this can get folded into the bag if you cut too close to this and the bags folding you might um, tear some of these stitches out and you'll see it so I'm gonna leave that I'll show you what it looks like I'm just really gonna cut around the three sides of this so I'm using my scissors to get as close as I can like that and I'm just gonna get a little closer up here okay now I'm gonna do this side okay 
So that's how I'm going to leave it. And then, like I said, when you put the front of the bag or the back of the bag on the front of the bag, this will get stitched in between. And if you cut really close, then it can pull away from the bag. This allows um, it not to pull away. We'll cut this when we cut the end of the bag, but you don't want to cut this too close. Okay, so I'm going to meet you back at the machine and I'll show you what we're doing next. Okay. I'm back at my machine. We're gonna go ahead and run step 10, which is gonna do those satin stitches on the sides of these purple strips. So I will come back and show you. It looks like right there with those satin stitches. We're gonna move on to the next detail, which is gonna be this base plate for the chest piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that green. So I changed my thread to green, and I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the placement stitch, which is step 11. I'll come back and show you. Okay, there's that placement stitch. Now you're gonna take a piece of fabric that covers all of those lines. I'm gonna be using this green canvas glitter. So I'm just gonna make sure that I cover it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch step 12, which is gonna go ahead and tack that down. I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, this is what it looks like right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and trim the edges as well. We're gonna leave the edges that are going off of the bag and um, we're just gonna cut around the rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. Just gonna go at the angle here and you're just gonna wanna get close to those stitch lines without cutting them. And I'll have to go back and get close to some of these. Okay, so there's the top part. We're gonna go ahead and do the bottom. So like I said, I'm gonna leave those edges. They'll be folded into the bag. Now I'm just gonna get a little closer right here. It was harder for the scissors to get there because um, I have this fabric here, so it kind of pushes it up a little bit. So I'm just gonna get a little bit closer right here. Because it's gonna do satin stitches right there as well. pretty good okay so I went ahead and did all that I will meet you back at my machine and show you what's next okay we are back on our machine and that's what it looks like we're gonna go ahead and do the next detail which is 13 and it's just gonna do that little line down the middle and I'm keeping that green so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that and I'll come back and show stitch you Stitch the lines right there so now it's gonna do the satin stitching around the top and the bottom you can see the shape right there and I'm keeping that green so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you okay guys here's what those satin stitches look like now we're gonna go ahead and move to step 15 which is gonna start on the buttons and the first button I'm doing this more like royal blue color so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that and I'll come back and show you okay there's what the blue button looks like now we're gonna go ahead and do the next one which I'm making green so I will come back and show you what that looks like okay there's the green button we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next button which is step 17 and it's gonna go ahead and do this red button I'll come back and show you okay there's the three buttons there now we're gonna do another button and this one's also going to be red so I'm leaving my thread red. I'm going to go ahead and stitch it and I'll come back and show you. Okay guys there's that other button right there. Now we're going to go ahead and do step 19 which is going to go ahead and do like the little coil part on the bottom of the bag and I'm using black and I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys this is what it looks like. We are now going to go ahead and do the liner and um, so I'm going to flip my bag, my hoop over to the back. This is the back side of our hoop. So we are going to go ahead and take this bottom uh, piece first. This is the one that I folded in half. So we are going to go ahead and place it. I'm going to take a marker and show you this middle line, the line that I showed you that matches up to the zipper teeth. That's where you want to match your fabric up to, just like you did on the front. I'm going to highlight the line right there so you can see it a little better. 
that's what line you want to put your fabric up to. You're going to do your clean edge next to that stitch line right there. And then we're going to go ahead and tape it down. I'm just using regular masking tape. You can use whatever tape you prefer. You just need it to hold. So I'm going to make sure it holds right here. And then we're going to go over to the machine and run the next step, which is going to go ahead and run all the way along this original tack line right here. It's going to do that exact one, tacking this fabric to your bag. So I'm going to go ahead and run that, and I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, I am back. I wanted to let you know I changed my thread back to white when I did this, um, but here's... What it did, it went ahead and tacked this back fat lining of fabric to the front of your bag. So now that's tacked down, so we need to flip our bag again. The next step is to do the top. We're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to take my clean edge. The right side of the fabric is up. Wrong side is down on this if you're doing it. Okay, so I'm just lining up next to the line right there and I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down and if you want a better this fabrics kinda long so I'm gonna cut this so I can tape it to the edge of my hoop because it kinda goes off my hoop I'm just gonna cut some more and so I could tape onto my hoop okay so right there on the edge and I'm gonna go ahead and tape that down you're lined up okay I'm gonna tape up here just to make sure it doesn't fold over okay that is what it looks like right there it's on either side of that stitch line I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the next step which is gonna do exactly the same thing but it's gonna do this top portion right there so I'll come back and show you what it looks like Okay guys, we are almost done. This is what that looks like. Both of the liners are put in place. Now we're going to put the back of the bag onto the front of the bag. So anytime you do that, you need to open your zipper. So we're going to go ahead and open our zipper. And you need to open it far enough that you can turn your bag through it. This is a 5x5 five five bag, so it's smaller, so we're going to have to push to get it to turn. But you also you want to do it as far as you can over here without going over your stitch lines because you want your zipper pull in your bag. If you do it over here, your bag's not going to work. You're going to be cutting it off. So make sure you stay within your zip lines and, or your stitch lines. And then you want to make sure you stay far enough over that when your foot of your machine goes around the stitch, it doesn't hit it. So make sure it's far enough over. You don't want your machine to hit this um, so right about there is probably fine. I'm going to put that on the inside. So now that our zipper is open, this is also the time that you add anything you want into your bag that's going to be coming off of your bag. This is where you add it because the next step is going to go ahead and enclose the top of this bag and whatever you put in here is going to get sandwiched into it. So I'm going to do a couple things. I like to add a pen on the side of my bag like this. So I am using fold over elastic right here. It's just pretty stretchy elastic. This is just a solid. Um, I'm going to go ahead and the way I measure this is I take what pin I want to put there. I want to put this orange pin there and I just kind of eyeball about how much of this you need to make a pin stay, this pin stay there pretty good. So, and it's stretchy so I would make it smaller than bigger so it doesn't just fall. Okay, so I'm going to do about that size, the little loop. Okay, and then you want the loop part, the part that's not cut, the loop, on the inside of the bag. So I'm going to put it right about here. The loop's on the inside of the bag. I'm going to take some tape and I'm just going to tape that down. And you can tape both sides if you're worried that it's going to move. Okay, this is also where a lot of people add these. Um, lobster clasps so you can put them on the side of your bag and they can hang on stuff. I'm not going to add one to this bag but I want to because this is such a small bag I'm just not going to add it. I was going to show you how to do it though. You would do the same thing. You would just take some fold over elastic. I'm just going to take like that much. You loop it through here 
so it's attached oops as I pull it out it's attached now wherever you want to put this you can put this anywhere you want on your bag I mean you can put it up like this if you want and then it will hang straight um, you could put it to the side you could put it there you could put it anywhere you want and you can put as many as you want because it's gonna stitch all the way around here so whatever you put it will stitch down so I normally put mine in the corners or directly where the zipper is like this and I would just tape it down the only thing you need to worry about is to make sure that your hardware is on the inside of the bag because we're gonna cut everything else off on the outside of the bag so wherever you place it make sure it's in and make Make sure your metal piece is like in your bag that it's not anywhere along these stitch lines because your machine will hit it and that won't be good okay so I don't think I'm adding one of these I think I'm just keeping that off but all I'm gonna add is the little pen I think I'm gonna use this for um, note I don't think any of the little books will fit very well in here we'll see when it's done but I can add like sticky notes these key I could do like a cute pack of sticky notes right here and then I can add the pen to the side and then whoever I give it to can have cute little sticky notes in a little um, bag so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my machine now we are gonna go ahead and put the front on and I will show you over there how you do that we are at our machine. I'm going to go ahead and put the back of my um, fabric onto my bag. Now I'm using this as the back and you do right sides together. So we're going to put it down like this. You just need to make sure your whatever you're using is big enough and it completely covers all these stitch lines down here and up here and all the way across. So you just kind of place it like this. And then you go ahead and stitch the next step, which is 22, which is going to completely enclose that bag. Make sure your zipper is open. If it's not open, your bag will not open and it will not work. So make sure that's done. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch step 22. I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. It completely enclosed the bag. You can see there's no openings. This is why you need your zipper open because you're going to turn through this spot right here to get your bag the right. But you turn twice on this bag because we have a liner. So we're doing our very last step, our stitch step now. So let's flip our bag over to the back and we're going to do our liner, the last piece of our liner, which I have right here. Now we're going to do right sides together. Make sure to watch your directions too if you have directional fabric, but I do not. Mine's just all the same. So I can place it either way. They fit both ways. I'm gonna go this way. Make sure you leave a little bit of fabric down here because we are gonna glue this. I'll show you that step when we get there, but make sure you leave fabric towards the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it like right there. I'm actually gonna cut some of this fabric like before because it goes over the edge and I wanna be able to tape to my hoop. So I could have just cut more on one side, but I'm going to do it this way. Oops. It doesn't matter if it's a straight edge or not because we don't need a straight edge right here. Okay, so I have it there. Now I'm going to tape it down really good. You do not want this to flip on you and then you have to take your seam ripper and rip it out and do it again. That's not fun. I've done that several times. Okay, so I'm going to tape this down really good. Okay, just to hold the fabric so it stitches. So I'm going to go back to my machine and I'm going to stitch the last step and it's basically going to stitch the same way we just did all the way around the bag, but it's going to leave an opening right here that we can turn. So it's not going to stitch right here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the machine and I'm going to stitch that last step and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, here's our bag guys. Here's the front. Here's the back. You can see it stitched it left a hole right here that's where we're gonna glue so we are done stitching so we're gonna go ahead and take this off our hoop there's lots of tape on here so I'm gonna go ahead and take my stabilizer out Now we are going to go ahead and cut around the bag 
and the only thing I watch for when I cut a bag with liner is I watch right here because I need to leave some of this um, fabric right here so I can fold it in on itself. If you cut it all off then it's really hard to do the gluing part of it to seal it. Okay, I'm going to cut this vinyl off right here because we don't need this vinyl in the bottom and it makes it easier to cut up. So I'm going to just cut this vinyl off real quick. I'll do a better job later, but I just want to get that out of the way so when I cut sideways, I'm not cutting through all that vinyl because it doesn't work very well. Okay, so I cut in an angle like this up to that stitch line, and then I go around the bag. The rest of the bag doesn't matter. You just want to leave a little bit um, so it doesn't pull out of the stitches but um, you need really pretty good scissors because you're cutting through the zipper and everything you just cut all of that off so I said your stuff needs to be placed on the inside of the bag when what you want to keep because this other stuff gets all cut off and it doesn't work okay so that's a good way to remember it as you cut everything off on the outside so make sure your stuff's being placed on the inside okay I'm just gonna cut down Okay, and then on this other side, I do the same thing. I cut at an angle. And then I just cut the excess off. Trying to get it. I have all this vinyl here, too. So I cut off some of that vinyl. Let me get it. Okay, let me get all this out of the way. Okay, oops, my. This, that's how I cut it like that. Now you only need two pieces of this fabric where the makes the hole. See there's a hole right here. You only need these two pieces. You don't want any of this other vinyl and stuff or the bulk because that will just make it more um, bulky. You're just going to glue these two pieces. So I'm going to cut this other little piece off and get my vinyl cut a little bit better right here. So I'm going to hold this down so I don't cut it. I don't want to cut this this fabric and cut this other piece though. Just get that off and then let that cut very well. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this vinyl a little bit better because it's going to be bulky and hard to fold over. Don't cut your stitch lines though. So I'm going to cut from this side so I can see. All right, there we go. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do now that it's all cut, we are going to flip our bag through this hole. Now this is woven so it can tear pretty easy. So you're just going to go slow and push the bag through. And this other stuff's vinyl so it's going to take a little bit to get this through here. But it should be fine because this is thinner vinyl. But um, I'm going to go ahead and just start pushing it through this hole. And there's no right way of doing it. I just get some of the corners through first and then I just keep pushing. I don't think you guys want to watch me do this. So I'm probably going to pause and then I'll come back and show you because it takes a little bit of pushing and pulling because this bag's pretty small, but let me see if I can do it really fast so you guys can watch it. It's folding on itself, so you have to like get it through. And you can use um, different things like dowels and stuff to help push it through if you need to, but we shouldn't have to do that part until you get to the corners. Okay, I'm almost through. It's not that bad. Okay, there we go. It's really just getting that first little bulk through that takes a little bit. I'm trying not to tear it. If you tear it a tiny bit, it's okay because we're going to glue it anyways, but I don't think I got any tears. And you don't have to make this part perfect because you're going to turn it again, but this time you're going to turn it through the zipper. So I'm just going to get these bottom edges pretty good because that's where we're going to glue. Okay, so it's not too bad. Okay, 
It's not completely flat, but we're gonna turn it again so you don't really need that anyways. What you need right now, you see here's our hole, you need to um, glue this bottom part. Now this is gonna be at the bottom. You could sew this if you want, you could ladder stitch it, you could do whatever you want. This is on the inside of your bag and on the bottom. So what I use is this fabric tack glue. It's really awesome, it's clear, it's kinda of goopy, but it's clear, it goes on quick, it dries within like three to five minutes, so it's really fast, and it doesn't leave like hard residue on the bottom. So it really works good for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Take that off and it takes a second to come down so let me just this is just old glue let me get it down I always keep some of my fabric because it gets kind of goopy sometimes okay here it comes already okay so there it is right there and what I do is I sandwich this so I fold this piece over that's next to the vinyl let me get it over and you can see there's a stitch line there that you can follow as well I get this folded over as good as I can and then I use these little wonder clips right here um, and like I said before you can go to the see more after the video and it will have links to wonder clips and stuff so you can see if you like them um, okay so then I sandwich it and I clip it in the beginning once I get it how I want it all right so the vinyl takes a little bit to fold okay there we go right there all right take it a little bit to get this folded okay that edge is right there okay so I have it folded pretty much how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna snip this little edge right here just because you don't need that, okay? And then, like I said, this is kind of goopy, so I'm gonna wipe that off because it's more than I need in this little spot. And then I'm just gonna put some glue right here on the edge. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push it together. I'm gonna take any excess glue off and wipe it on here. And then I'm gonna clip it and let it dry. Okay, and then I move to the next spot. And I'm gonna go ahead and get glue all in here. My glue went back down, so hold on. Okay, here we go. Let's go back. Okay. Make sure those sandwich together. There you go. Any excess I take off, glue. You get the point. It's really fast and easy. Okay, I pulled that out by accident. Okay. There we go. If you want that in a little bit better, I kind of have that little corner came out. I'm going to use this to poke it in so you don't feel that or see that on the bottom of the bag. Just the little corner that was kind of sticking out. Okay. Right there. Okay, so it is glued. I'm going to let it sit for like three to five minutes and then I will come back and show you how we flip to the other side. Okay guys, it's been three minutes. I'm going to take this off. Okay, you can see that it's all done. It's glued. Perfect. Not gloppy. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and open our zipper. This is your zipper. You just pull it opens. You can see that's why you need the zipper open. Now I'm going to pull all the stabilizer out right now. So it's easier to do when it's this not this direction versus flipped so I'm just gonna pull it now so clean up your bag right here Okay, it's gonna be on both sides and then there's also gonna be a placement stitch there's one string right here this was your center zipper placement stitch you can pull that out you don't need that 
Um, I'm just going to cut the edge. Okay, and then there's also going to be stabilizer on this top part. It's probably easier to have tweezers to pull this out, but I'm just going to grab it because I don't have tweezers over here. Okay. Okay, I can get more later. I'm just going to kind of get it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and flip my bag and we're going to flip it through this hole. I'm just going to put my thumb where the corners are and push through and try to flip it like that. And I'm going to try to get this side out like that. And then I'm going to try to push from the bottom all the way through and get like one section out and then just kind of pull. And this bag's a little smaller than other ones, so bigger bags are easier to turn than the smaller ones, but just because the hole's smaller. But it turns okay. And then, like I said, I use, just using my fingers right now. Okay, but then I use this little turning system dowel. You can use a chopstick, you can use the end of an eraser. I'm just cleaning up the stitch up there. You can use whatever you want. Don't press too hard if you're using like wood or something hard like this because it could go through your bag and that would not be fun. But it helps get these corners out right on the edge. So just kind of pushing with the flat side. I'm going to take this tape off. Okay, you can see that's where your little pen's going to go or it's also just a cute little detail even if you don't put a pen there. Okay, almost done with the corners. The corners just need an extra little push here and there just to get the extra corner out. Okay. All right, this is a cute bag. Let me kind of fold it down so it's in its shape. And then I'm going to show you the pen that I used. You just open it and go. Mine has rubber on it, so it's going to take a little bit like that. And then I have a little thing of sticky notes that would be really cute in here. So if you just open it, I want to show you the inside. We lined it so there is no seams. You can see there's no seams and you also do not see all of the stitching right here. See? The stitching's all covered. That is a lined um, zipper bag. And I'll show you that the cute little um, post-it notes fit in there just fine like that. It's super cute. There's our front. There's our back. I used the green on the back. Again, it opens. I'm going to show you the difference between the lining because the lining does take more materials. It also takes um, more time and you have to flip twice and glue. But I want to show you the difference between the two because I have another one here. It's a little string right here that I want to cut. Okay, so this is the 5x5 five five size right here. This, I believe it's the 6x6 six six size. I have to look, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so there's the difference in sizes. But this one, I didn't line. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you what you see. So you see, like right here, you'll see all the edges. There's nothing covering any of this. You'll also see all the stitches in here on the inside. So this is a non-lined zipper bag that is the same. So that's the differences. This one's lined, this one's not. They're both super cute. This one also has a zipper pull thing that I was telling you about on it. This one I didn't put one on. But I just wanted to show you, that's how you make this. It's so cute and so easy to do. 
and um, let me see if this one's. I was going to see if this one, a lot of people are using these um, compos composition notebooks. This is 3.25 inches by 4.5 inches. I wanted to see if it fit in the 5x5 five five side. I don't think it will. Well, I think it's going to be hard. So you do this. I don't think it's going to fit this way. Yeah, it definitely doesn't fit this way. I thought maybe it would fit this way, but it's not going to because you can't get it through the zipper. So this does not fit in there. You'd have to do like the little post-it notes if that's what you're doing. Okay. But super cute. Super fun. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, look for my other ones. See you soon. Thanks for watching.